Welcome back adventurers! I'm an adventurer like you and today we're playing Crusader Kings 3. We are continuing the saga of uh, Rurik of Holmgard. And uh, Rurik has his eyes set on Minsk and then further south on Kiev. We are conquering, we are uniting the East Slavic lands. So that is our Oh, for today, well, at least let's let's take a few steps further towards that goal. So here we are, Garda Riki. Last time we uh, conquered some lands toward the east at Tver and uh, Suterdalia. I don't know why this isn't. Norsified Yaroslavl, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, so we want to go to war with Minsk, but we don't have enough prestige. So to do something about that, we will go raiding. But before we do that, we have a daughter who is uh, studying diplomacy, and I think she should also learn a language. So the East Slavic language is like the local language of the Slav tribes here. That would be helpful if she can do that. And I also have another ward. Oh, my daughter is not actually my direct ward, but yeah, I am responsible for her education. He, he, um, does it say anywhere? He doesn't speak any foreign languages yet. Can I assign him? I can't assign him to learn another language. Why? Why? Because he's not my son, but my grandson? Or... He's not intelligent enough? Anyway, never mind. I'll have to look that up. Or somebody who knows can tell me. Um... Yeah, so we said we want to raid. Uh, we want to move the rally point here. There's a nice river here and some good pagan lands here. Um, and then raise all those raiders. And I'm leading the host of Viking. Raiders. Four days more. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are going there, I guess. And you. Oh, that's a strong one. Uh, maybe go in the river first. And then. It's only three. That way, I guess. These can just go here first. And my son learned the Finnic language. That is nice. Okay, here we go. Okay, they got some. Let them move to Vladimir. How strong are they? Oh, pretty strong. Three champions though, and we have six here, so we should be fine. But let's keep an eye on that. I concluded my task. What task was that? Increase control in Ingermanland. Okay, do we need to increase control anywhere else? Yes, we do. You should also increase control in your own county. But um, let's go for Tver first. And civil palisade constructed in Wiesburg. Yeah, we don't have enough to build more right now. I wish there would be like a decision to just force the locals to build stuff. Like go out in the forest, cut down some trees 
and, and do stuff, whatever you need to get the building materials to build this place that I want you to build. That's not how it works in this game. So we delivered some loot and we took a prisoner. Suit Jeremy seat. Obonosh, Obonosh, oh here. Um, that is nice. Can we ransom him for 10 gold? Yes. Okay, and... That is weird. Suddenly my... Um, my sound cut out. Okay, I hope it's uh, alright now. Let me check in OBS. Yes, it looks good. Uh, where shall we go next? Here, I guess. We will lose some people. Okay, then maybe first uh, stay here and split up. Can we split up? We can't. Why can't we split up? You know, split great armies outside their own territory. Okay, I get it. Um, supply limit 1600, we're 1800. Can we go... It's all 1600. This one is a little bit better. We should have made four armies. Alright, and they... You know, we're above the supply limit. That's a problem. And we have a new Marshall perk available. And <clears throat> we should probably do this one. Three. 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 Fifteen. Okay, that's not going through our land. Let's go here first, and you two go here first, and then regroup. Okay, we're gaining some uh, prestige and stuff. Okay, merge, and now... Split. And split again. Right. And now we need to select two. Uh, let's split this one as well. This is a bit of a... Um, I can't split three ways, right? Um, we can do this. This one has two. Two knights, two knights, two knights. Yeah. If this is where I am. This actually does take 2,000. So let's send these guys here as well. And then this group goes here. And these guys can follow. Inspiration realized. Um, close by here. My lord! My beneficiary Lagla announces her arrival in a surprisingly loud voice just as I am about to go raiding again. She proudly holds up a package securely wrapped in cloth. I return from Europe with an artifact for my journey. As she went all the way down to uh, Bulgaria, we saw last episode, right? 
I take the bulky bundle into my hands and loosen the cords before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside is a goblet. I ask Legler where she got this and she tells me of a hair raising dare she had with a stranger that ended with the opponent losing after drinking poison. My goodness, this is magnificent. Uh, I gain more prestige and court grandeur bonus. That is very nice. Yes, this is magnificent. Um, so is this on my personal trinket? No. This is a court trinket that we shall immediately display. Uh, famed pedestal item, a lugless goblet. That goes... Here, I suppose. Right. And of course, I'm not here because uh, I'm getting ready to go raiding. Or actually, I'm already on my way. Uh, these guys are ready. What else is here? Zero, zero, zero. 3.15 Voronezh Okay, let's do this And this is the Khazarstan The Khazaria Stepper realm And uh, ooh, 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 ooh Can we get them here too? Because otherwise we might lose this No, we're not losing this We have a stronger army. The Battle of Novosil is over. Great. And this does have a 2,000 supply limit, so it wasn't actually necessary for this place to split up. I don't know what happened. But we, what we were looking at was 1,600. Um, faction targeting you has disbanded. That's great. Prisoner taken in siege. I achieved and Koshel's champion, Kenyak. Um, can we? No, they won't. And you're not of use to me either. Okay. You are done here. Um. Oh, here. 16. 15. That's kind of a long way away. Yeah. And there is the 1600. Just go here. And... Oh, actually, maybe you can... Go here and I send... Uh, well, I'll go here. And I'll send one... The other army... After me. We have another prisoner. Greetings, my implacable liege. Who is this? Chieftain Hafen of uh, Palteskyborg. Okay. I would like to petition you in your wisdom to consider my claim for the chiefdom of Lukholm. It is not right that Chieftain Igor should sit safely as a usurper in his castle, mocking my dynasty's birthright. Please, my lord, support your loyal vassal by taking up arms if they will not recognize my claim willingly. And who are you? Yeah, you are in uh, Minsk. Yes, definitely. When the time is right, we shall do it. Um, within the year? Well, that is the plan. When the time is right. But we have a ransom. Ah, I got one of your kids. Yeah, sure, you can have it. Uh, anybody else? I achieved this. Yes. And some her as well. Is that the kid? Or is there another kid? Then some her as well. And you are the useless one. All right. Um, what is going on here? The second army should follow. 
and stay close behind, probably. Uh, these guys are done here. Yeah, there's just three, three, two, three, three. These guys are poor. These guys are poor. Yeah. Um, you know what? Why don't you guys go home? The industrious king, Rurik, that's my grandson, has been studying the records of long past kings of the local region, and he was intrigued by one in particular. Very little was recorded of the king in question, just the name and the statement that he was so wise he managed to rule for 100 years. Quite an achievement. Rurik has a personal theory that he managed to live so long only because the king was such a hard worker that the kingdom was ushered into a golden age, propping the king up for a long life surrounded by happy courtiers and plenty of riches. Get through that book by the end of today and you might be like him yet. And he gets the trait diligent. He probably just knew when enough was enough, temperate, or that king was probably so pleasant he just had no enemies, gregarious. So gregarious, temperate, or diligent. And also, it, two of these options would increase my stress. 32, that's just under the limit. Okay, so this is my grandson, who is my heir's eldest son. So this could be a future ruler. So we need to make a good choice. I think diligent is good. They're all good. But diligent is probably the best. In faith, truth. After all my lectures and all my shared wisdom, my grandson Rurik has finally embraced the true faith. I always knew he would make a good little Asatru one day. Okay. We need a bit more uh, prestige. And Skjaldvor is pregnant again. Two months. I think we've been gone for longer than two months, but who knows? Uh, yeah, we're back. How about over here? They have been raided. Here is 15. There's zero. What is this? We were here, right? Yeah. Here is 15, so one of these. These. Can go. What was it here? See if they can get that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, over here, you too, over here. Okay, I hope we are going to be in time. Because that is a lot of... Soldiers. No, I want the... Battle. Here, we've lost. We've, we're defeated. Oh, that is too bad. That is too bad. And how much did we lose? Um, first raiders, right? 15 loot. Okay, 15 gold. Go on. Why can't I go forward? I need to do this. A scheme in court. My spy master has come to me with a discovery. He is certain that my beneficiary loudly is scheming against my son Ingimar. But little babe, what has he done to you? So she has completed an inspiration, but now she wants to kill my baby son. 
That's absolutely vile. Why would you do that? Because you're zealous. Then why did you want to go on an adventure for me? Throw her in jail. The Battle of Tabov is over. Yeah, we lost. I know. And here we're losing again. Okay. Um, do we have anybody left here? Because they're gonna get reinforcements now. No, that's a different... Okay. And what do we have here? Root lost. Loot lost. Uh, she's taken 15 gold. And I can assign a guardian for my son Ironfast. He wants to study martial. But I think stewardship would be much better. So let's get you onto stewardship. And then find you an uh, edumacator. That is good at stewardship, like a Kaljewald. I mean, he is a, a one-legged dwarf. But he's good at this. Now, don't convert him in any way. And we should also have him study a language. Not Sami. No. Anglo-Saxon, maybe. That could be interesting. But um, I think... East Slavic is more useful at the moment. And we have a dynasty legacy. Alright, so shall we do Sea Wolves? We get more prowess, naval speed, prestige and fame from battles or wanderlust. Diplomatic range. Receive bonus troops above the cap when adventuring. I don't think we will do much adventuring in that sense. Uh, Dynasty had indirectly sent to the Ferengian guard. That is nice. But not immediately the, of use. This would be more useful, but that's far away. Sea wolves. Always oh, space in a hold. Right? Let's go for that. Alright, I want to beat her armies. My son, I have another one. Oh, Ingrid, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little son, another one. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Uh, Ergenwald. Mm. Look, here, Brynjolf. Valdemar. Sigurd. Uh, Ospion. Uh, what do we have? We have Helgi. We have Ironfast. Ingvar. Ingemar. Uh, Ospion. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, wait a moment. What's going on? They are stronger now. Uh, Guardian can be assigned. We did that. Prisoner taken in siege, a ransom, and okay, now we're up to speed. So here, we we did well. This one, uh, they slaughtered most of our army. My goodness, all the levies. Yeah, because they had horse archers. And more champions. Okay. And this one. Most of the levies. But we had some light footmen. So we had some defense. Horse archers. Counters light footmen. Okay. Light footmen. Count is countered by horse archers. Yeah. So we just did the totally wrong thing there. But at least I survived. The map. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in purse and silk. 
Apparently he drew a map of the local taiga for an unknown nobleman. Despite thinking the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects, as Theodmunda. He is actually a good soldier. And an organizer as well. That idiot belongs in my dungeon. You gain more vigilant. No. I want him in my dungeon. Okay, so that's... So... Wallace has taken 15... Oh, because we were just sitting there. I wasn't paying attention. We were sitting ducks. That was stupid. Okay, I deserved that. Now, this one. And now, can we take the gold back? I guess not. You are known for your dedication to your faith. That is great. Uh, but we are dying here. Oh, there is 15 loot here. Can we take that? Meh. Sure, why not? Um, and she is intelligent. That's great. We are losing some men. We are starving. Okay, guys. Now get that loot back here. Uh, what's the shortest way? Ah, uh, okay. Now I definitely have enough prestige. I just need to build up my armies again. My goodness. Um, they are back. Yeah. Let's just wait until everyone is back. And then we'll uh, send them all home for a good rest. Look out of control. Yeah. I can create a duchy. Yeah. Um, that can wait. Okay, embark and go back home. Novel perspectives. I sit quietly listening to my inept rigs go the army, locked in keen theological debate with my courtier Olena. The latter entreats attentively, but Ukonosko is closer to the true word of Ukko. It is the purest distillation of the Finno Greek revelations. Army scoffs, glancing down, read the heroic sagas, and you will see that the unholy rituals of witches stand in contradiction to the pursuit of Valhalla. This is why I do not talk to the lost, Olena signs. Or Olena, I don't know. Olena, maybe. If it goes by Finnish rules. Uh, Olena sighs with frustration. If you will not listen to the truth, I only hope you are somehow spared infernal hell. She has a point, though. I convert to Ukonosko. I don't want to hear this kind of talk again. Olena leaves my court. Oh, it's not our place to debate the divine. Uh, she has cancer. No, um, that. Let each person believe what he wants. We just want peace in the realm. Okay, we brought back 61 gold and 61 prestige. Alright, that's pretty good. And now we want to disband all. Give them some time to build things back up. Do we have more prisoners? We do. Theodmund, you are Norse. Ah, you are that that guy. Um here, come work for me. Largely, you stay in prison, Kinyak. Um how about you convert? Despite what I just said. Um, I want to make sure he is uh, more likely to stay friendly to us. Not um, betray us. Mm. Old court. Okay. Largla, what am I going to do with you? You are an adventurer. And a zealot. Can I 
demand your conversion. You will not accept. I can banish you. I can banish you. Yeah, probably, because if she wants to kill my son, my baby son, how dare you? Yeah, give me your money. There you go. Okay. So, where are we at the moment? We are half an hour in. Um, why is this minus unraised men at arms? Yeah, okay. I get it. We need to hold court. We need to give our soldiers a rest and rebuild our armies. Train some young ones. Right? And then get ready. How about the Jomsviking? They are hired. A chieftain Ingolf. Okay. And you are almost done with that war? Or holy war for the Northern Isles. That's pretty good. Yeah, you're almost done with that. Where is she? Yeah. It's not just the Northern Isles. It includes Iceland. Okay. Fair enough. And then by that time, we shall be ready. I mean, by the time we shall be ready, that war is over and we can hire the Yom's Vikings as well. Okay, let's hold court. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people fall in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has she goodness has ceased. All faces turn towards mine expectantly. In front of me I got three petitions lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Just for the first in line to approach. Yes, let's get this over with. The next petitioner is an extremely angry Chieftain Hafen of Baljetskuborg. With the briefs of deference shown, Chieftain Hafen relays that some of my knights led by Kettle have passed through the Chieftain of Baljetskuborg recently. They have looted, pillaged and despoiled the villages and farms in Baljetskuborg. That's an absolute travesty, my king, and I will not stand for it. I will not stand for that either. No, you're my vassal. And um, Kettle is one of my champions and... He should have kept the uh, pillaging and despoiling to places outside my realm. So, my warriors march in defense of us all. Stop complaining. You must return your plunder, Ketil. And I lose stress because I am just... I'm getting punished to troublemakers. My knights will be less effective for five years. Okay. And... Yeah. Or I offer compensation. I offer compensation for your losses. No, you cannot keep the peace. Then maybe you should be my. Maybe it should be my land. No, you must return your plunder. That is what a just king would do. Okay, good. So the money was used to restore the county pillaged by cattle stroke. Uh, we have two more. A frightful peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps between. Oh, he backs off with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your lordness, I come here from Tichmin with a matter of great import. His eyebrows undulate. You see, king, the bailiff's wife's sister swore she could make better spiced wine than the cobbler's wife. And of course, they were judged a tie. And then the husbands got involved. You don't say, please go on. No, I get stressed. Come and touch. That's not what we're here. Stuart Helgi, go fix it, please. Helgi loses 15 opinion of me. Well, he has a great opinion of me. So that You are a fool, my fool. No. What? How does this map? I get highfalutin? Uh, no. I'll let my steward take care of it. Dispute settled. Yes. That seems to be the best solution here. Rightful lands. A markedly disgruntled chieftain Kyrle hurries to your throne. Liege, I have a right to the chieftain of Tver, no matter what anyone else might say. 
Will you relinquish what does not belong to you in support of my claim? Well, I seem to remember that just recently you were seeking independence of me. So why should I reward you with land? You must win it by the sword and we will duel. And I would probably win. Or my claim is truer. And then he loses opinion of me. Yeah. No. Uh, let's duel. Let's duel. Single combat. Chief Tinkure. Chief Tinkure and I stalk around each other. Each weighing our options. He has a fearsome sword while I grip my own axe tightly. The deadly weapon feels cool and weighty in my grasp. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. Better men than you have died trying to break my guard. That's the best you got, or maggot? Um. It's all low increase, right? To likelihood of success, or this is no increase, but I will lose stress. And that the best you've got, you can't even hit me. Playing defensively for time, you allow Kuro to tire himself while you stay fresh. It becomes harder to injure myself. That is good. Let's do that. Single combat. Okay. Time and again, I backpedal, dodge, and weave, always keeping just within tempting target distance. Soon, Kuro's showing signs of exhaustion. Well aware that he's utterly outmatched, Kuro hurls himself at me bodily, forcing me backwards with all the desperation of the doomed. My form is excellent. With little chance for mistake, and Kuro's stance is formidable. I have yet to open up my opponent's guard at all, and I see no way yet to claim victory. Um, yeah, I think we should go for the strike. I leap into action, launching a flurry of quick slashes, driving myself hard against Kuro's guard, wearing him down with each expertly timed strike. It's a defensive stance, doing his absolute best to ward me off. The man's eye is following me, my every movement. My form is excellent, with little chance for mistake, and Kuro's stance is formidable again. My opponent is still holding off my blow as well, but he seems close to faltering. I'll show you how I have an axe. Or are you think? No, that's... Um... I'll show you how I have an axe. No. My axe flows around Kuro like water, each, striking chain, each strike chaining fluidly into the next, a series of perfectly timed attacks. Kuro stays stock still, seemingly hoping I'll just throw down my axe. My form is excellent, and with little chance for mistake, Kuro's stance is failing. We are evenly matched, with victory balancing on a knife edge. Uh, I can do a diplomacy challenge disheartening speech and I gain prestige now it's time for an attack strike parry repost and I win the duel victory few men can withstand my barrage of powerful cleaves my opponent is no exception Kuro goes heavily the offensive raining down powerful cleaves at me making it a nightmare to parry each. It's only by stepping sideways, fortunately mid-blink, that I get out from under the hail of strikes, leaving my foe's sword cutting frictionless air. I drive a foot into the back of Kuro's knee and push, punching him square in the jaw when he haphazardly swings around to face me. With Kuro reeling, all it takes is a powerful cleave to send his weapon flying. I generously give the man a few seconds to collect himself before he yields. I am victorious. Yes. Okay, I hope that is that. My business here is done. Sitting serenely in my throne again. Goodness. Alright, and with that, I think it is time to... Um... Oh no, we still have time. Huh. Okay. So then we shall um, prepare for Minsk.
Just give me a moment here. All right. Um, it was an urgent message. Minsk. Uh, how are our troops doing? They still need a month or two. No, we will not hold the front lot. Gone with the wind. Unnerving news from home guard. There was a village there that was relatively unremarkable and of little note. Was. Recently all of its inhabitants simply vanished. Initially, when people visited from elsewhere, they assumed it was a prank. But it dragged on long enough that it became concerning. People from the nearby settlements organized search parties and even a number of my officials went to investigate the matter. But no one from the village was ever found. Not even the faintest trace. Now all that remains is the wind whistling through a dark, abandoned and lifeless village. What on earth happened to those villagers? Well, they might have been captured and taken away as slaves. But that's less development growth. That's not so good. Low county control, yeah. And Ingerd, my Seneschal, gave birth to a daughter. And I can unlock a new perk here. I'm going for naval speed and then living off the land next. That will be nice. And Chieftain Helgi this year of Rusa, my son, finished to promote culture task in Ingermanland. That is very nice. So now, if we look at the culture map, we have two Norse counties, Ingermanland and here, Gautland. Nice. If we want to diverge, it still only costs 500 prestige. Um, so I'm not sure what the limit is here. At a certain amount of counties, that will go up significantly. So, but I don't want to diverge yet. After we di after we do most of our conquering here, then we should diverge to a culture that is more accepting of other cultures. So, I have some ideas about that. Right. These are all good. And these still take some time. Levies. The levies are not the most important, actually. So, that doesn't matter. We have Mount Matter here, a feline hunter. I think I found a reason why some days are more rat-free than others. My Chancellor Chieftain Kure ha happily declares as he moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. That's the one I just had a duel with, right? It wriggles in an attempt to free itself from the scratched up arms of the servant, meowing in a rather endearing fashion. I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, it was in the middle of a wrestling match with a fat one when we found it. What say you? Should we adopt this cat? Yes, of course. I do love a feline companion. And then I hope my wife is not allergic to it, which is usually the thing that happens. Okay, so now we have a cat, red hunting cat, and a pet cat. Okay. Great. Um, it is time. Right, it is time. We have all our men at arms ready. What about the Yom's Vikings? They are not currently doing anything. So that is perfect. That is just perfect. Okay, so High Chieftain Ruslan Ruslanovich the second of Minsk. You shall bow the knee. 
to Rurik of Gardarik. And we shall subjugate him. And there we go. And we also call in the Yom's Vikings. Ah, they're there. I should have moved my rally point first. Um, and how strong are they? Not too strong, vastly inferior, and even with their allies. No, nothing to worry about. Okay, you guys are very good. Um, you don't have a commander. Grandmaster Wagner is my friend, yeah. You should probably lead them. And then... Bring them over here. Bring them over here. And... Yes. A cat! As a cat rests in my lap, contently purring, I ponder what I should name her. Something historical, something alluding to her white fur, something to describe the soothing feeling I experience when I scratch behind the ear. Oh no, I will name her after Freya. That's what I shall do. Let me get some old Norse names. Um, here is my list. Ladies. Regun. Regun is what I shall name. And of course, with a capital letter. There we go. And now we are ready to move out. Where is my first army? That is me, yes. I'm going to the capital here. I will lose some men. Okay, so stay here. Merge up and split. And then we shall merge up again and split. Okay. Then, I'm here, okay, three, three, and you have four, you have six, you're the strong one over there, we'll keep you um, close by in case we need some assistance, okay, I'm going here, and I still will lose a hundred men. Um, okay, I guess I need to conquer this first. You go... Or are the... Jomsvikings are going there, right? No, they're going here. Okay. And my daughter has learned the East Slavic language. That is great. Can you learn another language? Yes, you can. Um, Estonian, Polabian, Vepsian. 
It's Tornier, probably. Um, these guys should go meet them somewhere. They're where they are going. They're just going away. Okay. Uh, why don't you guys stay here close by? They're probably going to take uh, some boats to come over here. And they are also moving out. I mean, you know what? I'm going to station you guys here. Ah, you're doing the same thing. Okay, fair enough. If that's faster. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting around the map table with Chieftain Helgi and Chieftain Rolf discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Helgi eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Wolf explains how we need to watch what our foes do and respond accordingly. 3. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action and know how we can employ both strategies so we get improved pillaging and improved maneuverability. And if I use his plan, we get also that, but he gains more opinion. And the opinion is of no... Has no influence. I mean, we're already 100, so that doesn't matter. Um, let's do both. There is a way to do both. With suspicion, I took Rurik out, that's my grandson, playing with a bow, and to my surprise, he ran into a wounded doll. The late lashed out at me, thinking I had staged the whole encounter as some kind of test. No, it wasn't a test. Um, show me how you could have felt an animal yourself. Now I need to be careful with my stress. Oh no, I'm good. I am good. Attrition 1% per month, yeah. Okay. And these guys... Uh, that's where uh, Grandmaster Wagen is. Okay. Fair enough. And they are there. Where is the other enemy army? I now control Vitebsk. That is great. So, here I have an... Well, like a third of my army is here. Protecting my capital, but... The enemy is nowhere to be seen. They went this way, and where are they? You, where are you? You are here. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Drive of Orsha. And now control uh, Gnozdova. Yeah, if we meet them here, we have the penalty that we cross the river. So we don't want to do that. Um... What if we do go here? No, 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 no. Here, you, you, uh, here, right? Orsha. This army. We lose. Stay there. And now go here. The secret exposed. The secret truth has reached the light of day, my vassal. Chieftain Ingvar has had an affair with his lover Dobronjega. I do not see what the fuss is about. It is not as if lust is an unnatural affliction. This crime cannot go unpunished. No, he's my spy master. Yeah, I lost some devotion here because I didn't act on that sin, even though I'm just... But he's my spy master. I don't believe the rumors. Huh, okay. Um, greetings, King Rorik of Gardaic. I have studied the Norse language for many moons. I personally penned this missive using the Norse script, a letter of friendship from a speaker of Finnic. This is Ilimar of Kokneze from Livima. Oh. 
That's interesting. I wish for future diplomatic dealings to benefit us both greatly. Yeah. About that. Yes, Lenore is impressive. Send my regards. And they are going there. Is it because they have yet another war? Yes. They also have populist uprising. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it seems we are safe in our realm. As Kjaldver is pregnant again, and I now control Lukorm. Lukorm, okay. And I wait a moment, we have prisoners, like this little girl that is sick as well. You can go home. Or whatever is left of your home. And we have this wife also. That brings in a pretty penny. So now we can move on to the capital. Do we have any more prisoners that we can get money for? Mikhail Borisov. Ah, uh, you're actually a pretty good soldier. Yeah. And they wouldn't pay ransom for you? He's a monk. He is zealous, lustful, calm, with high prowess. He's a forder, so he is a commander. And he's a monk. That's That would be an interesting life story. Why don't you join my court and tell me all about it? Agreed. And Mer has come of age. Mer of Skagen. Not Mer, my new daughter. Um, okay. She's decent. I think I'll arrange a marriage with one of my champions. They're all getting on in years, although Bragi is handsome. Right? Um, they are staying there. Yeah, they're dealing with that. While we are sieging down their settlements. We gained 18 additional taxes. That's great. What is this faction? Russian, Slovyansk, and Volkerist. Oh, yeah. Oh, scout for lost. That's, that's always so sad. And I got three golds from occupying Orsha. That is great. Um, this is Minsk. We're almost done with Smolensk. I think if we get the capital, we just need to f actually fight them. Maybe take Torpets. What are you guys doing here? This is going to be my land, and you're not going to pillage it. And we took... A leprous, one-legged chieftess prisoner. Yeah. Um, I, I'd rather have the money. Okay. On with you. And there's another scheme. We do not yet know who, but someone is plotting to kill my concubine.
You have a rival. Chieftain Rolf is your rival. What the? He's my friend. That can't be right. Very good, John Vassal. As I walk outside, I am greeted by the sight of my spy master, Chieftain Ingvar, crouching beside my cat, Fregun. Tenderly petting her head. This is quite a lovely cat you have, my lord. You are very perceptive, indeed. Okay. And you, you are just a little boy, but they will not pay for you. Because you're a simple courtier. Or are you? You don't know who your father is. Okay. Uh, they are gearing up to come to us now. It seems. They have... 10 champions and 3... 13 champions. Yeah, that's a bit much. If these guys will go here and you will go here... Maybe we can trick them. Minsk. That is great. Okay. And we have prisoners. Yeah. Let's get some money for that. And we would lose this battle. Do we want to... Well, let's go after them. Let's see who else we have. High Chiefess. That is a good amount of money. Under the Storm Pioneer, yeah, this is this, right? They have 19 champions, though. We might not win this. Um, let us just uh, have peace. High Chieftain Ruslan becomes your vassal. Okay. And then, yeah, I want to take Lukum and give that to Palti Skruborg. This guy. As we said, when the time is right, we shall do that. But... Hmm. He's very weak, though. We shall have a duel with him or something. Let's see if we can get. I can learn his language. That's what I should do. Can ask for his conversion. He won't accept. Need to learn his language. He is a mastermind philosopher. 57%. That's not very good. Okay. Under the stone pine. In the scorching midday heat, they sit in the shadow under a great stone pine. Playing on lutes and flutes, they sing in many tongues, yet my heart can understand every word. I can hear them from my balcony, and they stir my soul. Yet I do not know the identity of these musicians, and when I leave my lofty halls and approach the tree, they are gone. Are they sent from Warhalla? Are they phantoms devised by Loki to ensnare me? Perhaps not. But what am I to do with these damned feelings? My love for Skjaldver fills my heart with song, and I gain the trait poet. So beautiful, awed by beauty. That is pretty good. Stress gaming is 25%. I should sponsor more musicians investing in music. 
More prestige. Yes, I should sponsor more musicians. That is what we shall do. Okay, disband all. And now, look at us. Gardariki is growing. Really growing. No, I don't want to transfer him. I want a uh, transfer the other way. Although this would get him out of my hair. But um, I can designate a guardian for her. What happened to your previous guardian? They died? I guess. Um, you're learning diplomacy. And so we need someone good at diplomacy. Oh, I see. Um, Tokure is 17. I'm 20. Do we have someone with four stars? No, we don't. Oh, we have this one. Yeah. But she isn't high in learning. So I guess... Chieftain's Glod of Narfa or Chieftain Kure of Valdai. I guess I go with her, even though she is a drunkard. And her husband also will gain opinion of me. That's very nice. Alright, and do we still have anyone left in our prison? Yes, we do. We have this girl. We shall ransom her. We cook, okay, whatever. You... Yeah, nobody wanted you, right? And he's not especially good at anything unless we possibly... Educate him. See, now we can. This guy. Not a weak hook. Right. So. Educate him. I want a my spy master to do that. Yes. Then maybe in the future we can uh, we can use him. I'll keep a pin in him. Elgi is sick. Hmm. All right, so that was the battle, well, the war for Minsk, and we got it. So thank you for watching, and hope to see you next episode.